Hi Capricorn and welcome to my very first YouTube reading. Uh, this is in um, response to the July 28th new moon in Leo. Um, it's a cycle for the next two to four weeks and uh, let's see what, uh, what we've got in store for you. I'm not big on long introductions. Uh, the first card is the King of Wands. Um, this is what the new moon is bringing into your situation, and this is the Aries card for me. This is somebody with an Aries-type temperament. They are leaders. They are the boss. Uh, they can be uh, managers, that sort of thing, um, but they are very good at um, creating rules and making sure that people stick to them. Uh, not necessarily law-minded, but um, rules of society, rules of the business, rules of the game. Uh, they are not people who follow. They are leaders. Uh, again, this is the Aries card for me. And so with uh, Aries, it's the first sign of the zodiac. There's no one in front of them to, uh, to lead the way. They are the pioneers. They are the leaders. Uh, this person could be feeling... Um, the end of the rope, uh, difficult mental situations. Um, it's the end of difficulty, but it is the feeling of uh, there's not much I can do about it. Um, let's move on. Uh, tomorrow's another day. Um, the Ten of Swords is absolutely the end of a situation, and um, they do believe that this King of Wands is dealing with something uh, to this effect. Um, how you see the situation, I think uh, Aries are pretty much optimistic. So how you see the situation, it is either the end of the evening or the beginning of a new dawn. And I think for you it's the beginning of a new dawn because how you respond is the Six of Swords. And this is sort of the, um, uh, I resign myself to the situation and how it is at the moment. <clears throat> Six is finding balance after uh, five. Five is always instability, and six brings you to balance. And so uh, resigning yourself to that's the way it is at this moment. It's the end of a difficult mental situation. Let me move on. And when you move on, you're moving on to calmer waters uh, and to new shores. Let's see where that will bring you. It'll bring you a new focus. Um, it'll bring you some passions that you need to focus in one direction, and while things still might be a little bit up in the air, eventually uh, those passions, at least a few of them, will land. They'll hit the ground and they will uh, sprout. So the Eight of Wands is a very optimistic card. Um, m moving your emotions to calmer waters or, you know, um, resigning yourself to this is the way it is for now. Uh, puts you in a position to look ahead and to focus your energy on what it is that you want to do, what you want to accomplish, what you want to get done. Eight is perpetual energy, so you can have a lot of energy behind these ideas. And again, like I said, if they're up in the air at the moment, some of those will land, some of them will hit the ground. Uh, the result being the Knight of Wands. Things can be a little bit erratic right now, uh, very changeable. Um, for me, the Knight of Wands are messages that come in that um, want a direct response and um, can shake things up a little bit. But whatever they shake up, it's a good thing because you are getting a, um, a wish fulfilled. Uh, this is something that you may have already wished for, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to get something that you really hoped for. And it can come in through um, messages texts, emails. For me, the Knight of Wands is electronic messages. So they are things that come in rather quickly, want a quick response, you get what you want, and um, leaving the old mental difficulties behind, you can find um, better uh, situations or a wish uh, come true. Um, this person may also have some back problems or um, some actual physical ailments, um, and um, they could also be asking for your help in that sense, meaning that some things are a little bit uh, difficult to bear right now, and, uh, you know, they could use your help. 
So with that in mind, I still think this is a great reading. I think the outcome is fantastic. Let go of what doesn't work anymore or just uh, something that has had its course and now it's over and look towards the future. You have some uh, wish that is ready to be granted. And um, I hope this has been helpful. I enjoyed reading it. I hope you've enjoyed listening. I will return for the full moon reading. Uh, thank you for, um, for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye.